Back in January of 2022, um, I was first diagnosed with cancer. You know, they broke to the news to me at some point of like, I think we're going to need to do surgery um, and remove the tumor. And so obviously that was devastating news to hear. I was uh, 22 at the time. And uh, on the January of 2024 this year, when I was about to kind of rejoice and be like, we're on the downslope of the chances of it coming back, uh, they, they caught a lymph node on my CT scan and said that's enlarged, that doesn't look right. It's a different change, you know, you have changes financially, you have changes in what your day-to-day -day looks like realistically. It's a lot, it's straining. We've been in our life group for a little over a year, probably around June of last year. We came into the group because a friend invited me. So we went that, that night to the life group and man, it changed um, my view on community. I think that's something the Lord's been revealing to me since my first cancer diagnosis and as I've matured spiritually of community, community, community and the importance that we're called to lift each other up, to strengthen our brothers and sisters in Christ and to carry burdens and walk alongside each other through the good and the fun to celebrate and through the hard as well and, and to cry with one another. Um, and this year has just been the craziest thing with God's timing, just to know that uh, we met them at the most perfect timing, to know that they have all gathered around us um, when Colton was walking through this, and to have people making meal trains, people giving, people loving and praying over us constantly, like never neglecting us through this season and almost just lifting up our arms when we felt weak and that we felt we couldn't continue on. And so that meant the world of having in that community and that's something that I neglected the first time around and I know that was a lie from the enemy um, to, to be alone and isolated and the Lord just opened my eyes. I believe that this is all from Jesus within their hearts just fulfilling the Great Commission and loving their neighbors so well as themselves and that has just been the coolest thing to witness it's not just empty words they're always supported by action you know we weren't meant to do this life alone like the Lord created us to be in community. He had 12 disciples, he had his three. And this is something that we can do to be one, obedient to Christ, but to know it is a blessing and a gift. And knowing that those people were there to support us is so beautiful, but even in the highs too, to know that we are here to uplift each other and celebrate one another. And that's something that is so beautiful to be a part of.